Okay, hi everyone. This is just a video showing how to make an animated GIF in Photoshop CS6. I think it's a very easy way to do it. Now, if you have a look at the image that I'm going to use here, a uh, very famous one here, um, now look, it's very big. I wouldn't do this normally for the internet, but it's just uh, good to show how to, to make them. Now, I've got three layers here. All right, so if you have a look, I've got my top layer, eyes and background. So I'll just turn the bottom two layers off and you can see that I've just cut out the eyes of the Mona Lisa because I've just got them on a different layer and that's what I'm going to be moving around. All right, now, quite simple. Here's my start position. Now, I'm just going to make sure that my timeline is being shown and you'll see it in the bottom left hand corner. And here it is. Now, I've also got a delay. I'm just going to give it one second to start with. Alright, there's my start. And I'm just going to make a new frame. Okay, I'll just go over a little bit further. This down again in the bottom left, you'll see the duplicate selected frames icon. Click on that. And I'm just going to make her eyes, oops, wrong layer. Make sure that I'm working in my eyes layer. Yep, make her eyes go up. Okay, there I go. Now I better change that down to uh, no delay. So it's just going to be very quick. And now I'm going to press the tween animation frames icon. Okay, it just looks like a shooting star. Click on that. Frames to add. I'm just going to add five frames to my previous frame. Alright, all layers and all my other parameters. Hit OK. Now you can see that they've been included here, but they've just also included the original time. So I just want to click on those shift click to select all of them and I'm just going to go to no delay. Alright, there I go. So there's my five frames. Now I want our eyes to roll down. I'm going to click on the duplicate uh, selected frame and this time she's going to go down like so and do the same between the frames. You hit the shooting star between the previous frame, five frames to add, as good as any, there I go. All right, and now I want it to go back to the start. I'll duplicate my selection. Okay, now I will now hit tween. And rather than tween with previous frame, I'm gonna tween with first frame. There we go, and hit okay. Alright, so if I hit the play button, which is just again bottom left hand corner, you can see how it works. Alright, so quite simple. Alright, now I'm just going to save this. File, save for web. Alright, and I'm going to save it as a GIF, uh, pretty important. Uh, again, this is a rather large file. Uh, you definitely would be doing them much smaller than this if you wanted them for the internet. So make sure it's a GIF. Choose your colors. I'm all okay with that. All right, start with number one and hit save. Okay, and there I go. I might just save a copy of this. I think if two and hit save and there I go. So now if I select my uh, my uh, my GIF that I just made open with let's hit Safari you'll see the Mona Lisa. You should see the Mona Lisa here she is. Okay there we go. A very simple process Okay. 